It's time for another Tuesday's Tech Tip from Active Datacom. This week, for the second installment in our batch file series, we will look at some command line tools that can add functionality to batch files. These tools can be used to create extremely powerful batch files with considerable versatility and utility. Some of the tools simply do one thing and do it well from a command line. Their usage is generally very straightforward, requiring few arguments. There are also more sophisticated tools, can have relatively steep learning curves, and can require quite a bit of good input to function properly. We have already covered the use of speech synthesis from the command line using eSpeak and Festival, specifically. The examples given in that tech tip can be used in batch files just like any other command. To pause a batch file during its execution or add a delay between commands can be very useful and sometimes necessary. There are a few ways to mimic this behavior, but sleep.exe makes it very simple. Simply specify the number of seconds to delay execution, and that's it. It may seem strange at first, but the capability to generate a random number can be very useful in certain circumstances. When the need arises, random.exe is just the thing. Querying the user and making use of the user's response is common and relatively simple to do using batch files, but messagebox.exe allows batch files to interact with the user using standard Windows message boxes. Safely removing a removable storage device such as a USB thumb drive, memory card, or external hard drive usually requires a mouse click or two. Remove drive can be used in a batch file to automate the process. If your batch file needs to read or write to the Windows clipboard, then clip.exe will handle it. The need for this functionality may not arise often, but when it does, clip can save a lot of time. If you have a computer that supports wake on LAN, WOL command can make waking it up via command line or batch file very simple. To wake a specific computer, just specify the network details of the target computer. One possible application could be waking all employees' PCs automatically, so they will be up and running when they arrive at work. If there is a file that needs to be downloaded via command line or on a regular basis using a batch file, wget is a simple way to get that done. At a minimum, specify the file's URL, address, or path, and wget simply downloads the file and exits. Lynx is a command line, text-only web browser, and though its utility may not be obvious at first, its ability to download sites and store the text locally can often be useful. For more sophisticated involved or complicated data transfer requirements, Curl offers powerful features and supports most relevant protocols. FTP, FTPS, SCP, POP3, SMTP, SSL, user authentication, and proxy support are just a sample of Curl's capabilities, and it all works with no user interaction. Command line email is sometimes associated with spamming, but it has a great variety of legitimate uses. Black can send email via the command line for any purpose required, such as a notification of the status of a batch file itself or status messages to mobile devices that can receive email. CMDOW, or Command Do, is a command line tool that can manipulate open windows in a variety of ways. Windows can be moved, minimized, maximized, restored, closed, made active, or inactive, and more. Near Command is a command line tool with vast capabilities, from opening and closing optical drives to turning the monitor on or off. It can open and close programs, manipulate open windows, hibernate or standby systems, and much much more. These are just a few of the available command line tools that are available. Between third-party tools and those included with operating systems by default, there are very few tasks that can't be accomplished via command line and by extension with a batch file. This has been another Tuesday's Tech Tip from Active Datacom. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need help with your computer, network website, or any IT issues, just call click or come by. Call us at 662-620-7996, visit us online at www.callactive.com, or stop by in Buffalo, Mississippi.